You cannot make this up. God bless Matt Walsh. Just watch this. How would you define a woman? Because you've asked other uh, people up here to define how we would define a woman. How would you define a woman, Mr. Walsh? Uh, an adult human female. Easy. That's it. And how don't trans people, how doesn't a transgender woman fit that definition? Female. Because they're not, they're not female. Okay. They, they have, they have, you said that you are a biological male, correct? I said I'm transgender. Um, I might be intersex for all we know. About uh, almost as many people might. in the world are transgender as intersex. And well, a lot of people don't know. Well, but that's a different conversation. Intersex, that's a genetic anomaly. That's a medical condition. So let, that's a completely different conversation. That's also not a, that's not a third gender. That's just a, that's a genetic anomaly that occurs within the sex binary of male and female. Um, a, so you, what you're saying is that a quote unquote trans woman is a female. By the definitions I'm familiar with, yes. Familiar. So how would you define female? Through my training oh, no. in healthcare, there are several different categories for how we define sex. People bring up pr chromosomes. People also bring up hormone levels. People bring up all sorts of other categories. Lots of people don't fit neatly into a gender binary, even people we don't consider to be intersex. It's a complicated spectrum. It, it's not complicated, but you also didn't, you also didn't define. So, so what is... What is a woman? What is a female? What do, what do these words mean? It's complicated, and I know you're not going to like that answer, but that's because there are no simple answers in human biology. Let me ask you a question. You guys, well, you hang question? on. I, just let me finish. You guys like to bring up high school level biology classes a lot. I get that a lot. But people who go on to more complicated biology classes will talk about sex as a spectrum. It's not. It's not. Well, biological researchers would disagree with you. Well, and they're full of shit, the ones that would say that. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> uh, let's go. There are... All right. There are male gametes and female gametes. Oh, I had one, I had one last question. I, I just have one, I have one quick... Can, we, can, we, can you come back for one second? Because this is an important question. You said you're an EMT. Yes. Okay, if you're responding... You're responding to a, a health emergency. Biological male, somebody with a penis, is, uh, is having a medical emergency. And they say to you, um, I think I'm having a miscarriage. Would you, would you check them to see if they're having a miscarriage? Would you consider that a possibility for them? Got him. <laughs> Got him. No, but... <clears throat> That's because some people don't have body parts. Doesn't mean they're not a woman. Okay. Lord help us. Sounds like we've established there are some people who, in principle, can get pregnant, and there are some people who can't. So there's two categories, otherwise known as binary. Lots of women can't get pregnant either. Yeah, but they're still of the nature to get pregnant. The only but reason, they can't get pregnant. Yes, but Truth they, matters, right? It, it does. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Truth matters, and they can't okay. get pregnant. I, that's the truth. So how are they still women? Because they are... For, for, the, for the same reason, for the, for the same reason that, I, that I can rightly say that human beings have two legs. And if a person is born with only one leg... That doesn't call into question the statement that human beings have two legs, okay? A person being born with one leg doesn't mean that now legs are on a spectrum, and we can't say, mm -hmm. we can't say anything at all about how many legs a person has. Who knows? They could, have, they could be a centipede. You know, they could, have a, they could have a hundred legs. No, we know human beings have two legs. If a human is born without two legs, something went wrong. They were exactly. supposed to have that second leg. Something went wrong. If you, if you, if you meet a person on the street who only has one leg, Maybe, maybe they had an accident. Maybe they were in war. Maybe, maybe, some, you know, maybe they were in a car accident. Maybe they had cancer. A leg was cut off. But you know that something went wrong because of the, by their nature, they're supposed to have two legs. 
Same thing for a woman. A woman by her nature can get pregnant. A man by his nature never can. So if you meet a woman of childbearing age, say she's 28 years old, and she can't get pregnant, you know automatically that something has gone wrong. And she can go to the doctor and find out what that thing is, even if they can't fix it. So that proves that women by their nature can get pregnant, because the simple fact that she can't shows you that there is something wrong. This is what is known as the exception that proves the rule. Whereas if a male with a penis can't get pregnant, no doctor on earth is going to run tests to see what's wrong with him. <laughs> because they already know it's that he's a male, and there's only male and female, those who can get pregnant and those who can't. So, I, that's it. That's Okay, man, you let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Here we are. This is what the goal was this whole time, bro. We have a grown man arguing with you, trying to convince you that your eyes are deceiving you, that basic biology doesn't apply anymore, that you can see him with all due respect. You can see him as a man, but because he feels like it, you will be wrong. And they will call you a bigot and they'll call you anti-trans because you disagree with him. Bro, they are lying to you, bro. You know dang well that you cannot give birth to a child. You are not able to because you are a man. And if you see a true, a real woman not being able to give birth to a, a child, that's because just like Matt Walsh said, something happened down the line. You can't make this up, bro. And of course, you can thank Democrats for this. Now they are coming for your kids. They're coming for your kids. Your kids can't be normal anymore. Everybody has to be trans. And what's the end goal? What's the end goal? Because the moment you go through that transition, bro, you, 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 can't, you can't have kids anymore. So what's the end goal? You let me know in the comment section what you think about this. God bless this man. This was beautiful. This is amazing happening in New Mexico. God bless you. Catch you on the next one. Wow. Thank you, Democrats.